Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is my first episode Trans Expat in Thailand. So my name is Ben. Uh, I'm originally from the Philippines and I've been living here in Thailand for the past um, two years. First year has been, I'd say, great because um, I get to explore the, the country a lot. Um, so I've been to uh, different places across Thailand and the second year obviously was a little tougher because of the coronavirus and I'm you know I live alone and I, I'm kind of struggling in terms of um, you know connecting with people and finding new friends because I'm kind of introvert and with all of this coronavirus situation that made it more a lot more difficult. Yeah, there's nothing that I can do about that. Um, hopefully soon, um, you know, restrictions will ease up and, you know, I'll get to socialize with people as well, even if I'm an introvert. So how did I end up here in Thailand? So um, I work for a company back in the Philippines and they have an office here in Thailand where I got assigned uh, for a year. And then after that, temporarily, and then after that, um, I found a permanent role. So what happened What happened is I had to fly back to the Philippines and then get a work, um, process my visa and, you know, my work permit as an OFW. And um, the uh, visa processing and work permit requirements is kind of complicated. Maybe I'll dedicate another episode for that. But um, all in all, I would say if you're going to start from scratch in terms of the visa and, you know, um, processing it in POEA, you'll have to allocate between one to two months to be able to, be able to complete the entire process. Um, what else? So what is it like uh, living as a transgender expat in Thailand? Um, I'd say that it's generally um, a good experience. I like living here in, uh, in Thailand. Um, I feel um, safe and comfortable. Um, I can express myself without, you know, uh, feeling that I am being judged or ridiculed um, by people um, so just the background so when I was living in the Philippines whenever I would go out um, obviously I put on makeup or I, I'd wear a dress but at the same time you know um, I kind of like choose the places where I go to and you know even in the public transport when you use the public transport you'll experience some uh, some people like looking at you and you know that they're looking at you in a different way like in not a not in a good way like they'll look at you from top to bottom and you know that they're judging you i i don't have that kind of experience here in thailand so which is i guess one of the good things of um living as a transgender person here in thailand you, you don't get to experience that kind of uh, discrimination uh, I wouldn't say outright though that there are no discriminations here because obviously um, there can be, but it's not, I guess, um, as um, pronounced as, let's say, when I was still living in my own country. And probably because, uh, again, I, I'm not a local, although I look Thai, for, and I can pass off as Thai, as Thai most of the time, except when, you know, because I'm not fluent in speaking in their language, then they know that I'm a foreigner. So they kind of treat you differently if they know that, you know, you're, you're not a local. So there's that kind of um, new ones as well. But uh, again, overall, it's a good experience. Um, in terms of using the, the restroom, the public um, the public toilet, so I can freely go to a woman's toilet without anyone telling me that I should be using the woman's ti uh, toilet. I feel comfortable um, using the woman's, uh, woman's toilet in the public uh, areas. Um, I don't 
feel or I, ha I haven't sensed other women within the shared, you know, uh, public restroom be uncomfortable around me. So they're kind of used to it or, you know, they, they don't care, which is for me is good because I just want to mind my own business. Um, gender, um, misgendering. So I don't get to experience that in here. In fact, people are, you know, the ones who will tell you, Madam, Miss, when they date, when they, when they address you, when you ask where is the fitting room, they're not gonna like point you to use the, the men's fitting room, they're gonna point you to the women's uh, fitting room. So these are kinds of, you know, minor for maybe a cis person or a straight person these are things that you know um, you don't worry when when you go out in public but for a trans person like me that's you know that's one of the concerns that i always have especially when i was living back home so here in in bangkok i have never had that kind of experience so again very very good experience um have i experienced discrimination here though I did. Um, mostly, um, there are some um, clubs or bars where um, they still discriminate against um, transgender women or people. So um, I've been refused to some bars in, in here. Not that many, but you know, some. And you know, it's always not a good experience. Um, I'll probably share more about that in another episode. But uh, just to give you a, an idea, so you know, it, it's it's not a habit, you know, it's not a 100% perfect place for an LG, LGBT person to live here in Thailand. Uh, but at the same time, if you're going to look at, I guess, the pros and the cons, if you weigh it in, there's a lot more pros than cons. So it, it makes you living as a foreigner, as an LGBT foreigner in Thailand, much more comfortable. Um, I wouldn't go as far as saying that it's also the same case for local Thai people in terms of, you know, for the transgender people, um, local, local Thais. Uh, I don't know what their experience are and I cannot speak on their behalf. Maybe if I find someone who can uh, then I'll invite them in create an episode in, in, in you know my future episodes uh, but if you are a foreigner a uh, transgender foreigner person like me then yes I would recommend um, living here in Thailand um, how does it differ from my culture in the Philippines um, so, like I said, so Filipinos kind of much more judgmental against transgender women or transgender person in general or LGBT persons in general, at least in my experience. So I've never felt, had that comfort back at home um, being myself. Um, here, uh, again, like what I mentioned, it has never been an issue, so I can freely express myself and you know um, I kind of look again look Thai so in a sense because I'm not a white person uh, in here white person is also treated differently so I guess in a way because I pass like a local as long as I don't speak then I, I kind of assimilate uh, with the culture um, Thai people they, they um, value being in a group and being able to assimilate in a group. Um, it's very rare for anyone who would want to be seen as standing out too much. Um, so I guess that's another difference um, from the Philippines because in the Philippines we have um, you know, a lot of Western influence despite of us being wanting to belong in a group. Um, we also value our own uniqueness and individuality and then you know our, we're more I guess upfront in terms of how we express um, that individuality so that's a short introduction about you know my experience as a transgender expat living here in Thailand 
Um, if you have any suggestions or um, about what kinds of topics you want me to discuss or to feature in my channel, just let me know and let's see what I can do about it. Thank you for watching.